September is California Wine Month, and here are my top five picks from around the state. Uh, we've got some of the classics. Of course, you can't talk about California without talking about Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon, but also some new and exciting varieties and regions coming from the area. Uh, so we'll start off with the Murphy Good Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc is becoming increasingly popular. This comes from the North Coast region, uh, which is the areas that are north of um, San Francisco. Uh, it covers a wide range of areas, including Napa and Sonoma, and a little further um, north from there. So this is a very typical Sauvignon Blanc. It has a nice tropical fruit aromas, a little bit of that citrusy green grass characteristic, but really more on that kind of riper style. On the palate, it's very crisp and refreshing. Very easy to drink. Uh, you can enjoy a glass on its own or pair with light appetizers, uh, green salads, those kind of uh, lighter fare. Uh, moving on to our Chardonnay, uh, we have the Cambria uh, Catherine's Vineyard Chardonnay. This comes from Santa Maria Valley, Santa Maria Valley, which is in the Santa Barbara County. Uh, so if you're looking at the map between San Francisco and Los Angeles, uh, closer to Los Angeles is that Santa Barbara area. Um, this is a well-regarded region for Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. This one is very typical. It has um, that nice tropical fruit aroma. We have some pineapple, some apple, uh, definitely some oak aging. So there's vanilla, a little bit of butterscotch. On the palate, it has that decadent, creamy texture, uh, typical California Chardonnay, but it is nicely balanced with a refreshing acidity. Uh, so next we'll move to our reds. We have Han Pinot Noir. This comes from Monterey, which is just a little further north from our um, Santa Barbara region. So again, very well known for Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. Uh, this one here, very typical with that light body, uh, red fruit aromas, some nice sweet spice. Very juicy fruit balanced with a nice fresh acidity, um, soft silky tannins. I get the vanilla, some sweet uh, cinnamon and spice. Uh, very complex and concentrated. There's lots of flavor here, uh, offering really great value for Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir can be very tricky to find a great bargain under $30. Uh, so next we have the Wente Merlot. This comes from the Livermore Valley. Um, so Wente is a really big um, kind of feature winery in this area. Um, a lot of their fruit is coming from their vineyards there. This is a little bit more inland, um, kind of just southeast of South, um, San Francisco and the Oakland area. I chose Merlot because uh, it's often overlooked by uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, but California is really producing some excellent um, Merlots. So here, very typical aromas of plum, some dark fruit, a little bit of oak. What I love about Merlot, it just has this plush, silky texture, um, more in that medium to full bodied range, very silky tannins. You get those dark fruits um, balanced nicely with some toasted oak and very, very smooth finish. Uh, Merlot can also be extremely versatile when it comes to food pairings. Uh, pair it with chicken, with pork, uh, with red meats. It certainly uh, can fit that whole range of um, dishes that you might serve with it. And lastly, of course, we can't talk about California without talking about Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, this is the Aquinas North Coast Cabernet Sauvignon. So again, that um, northern region similar to uh, the Murphy Good, anything north of San Francisco uh, in, in a wide range there. This has been one of our top selling Cabernets uh, to both staff and our consumers. We all love it. It gives you that decadent, rich California Cabernet style for an excellent price. So I get the dark fruit, cassis and cherry, some toasted oak and chocolate. 
and on the palette it does have a nice freshness a little bit more grippy tannins but that they um, soften really quickly this is your um, big, rich uh, red meat pairing, but it's also soft enough that you could curl up on the couch uh, and watch some movies with as well. And they're very nice and fruity and juicy. So I hope you've learned something a little bit about California, the, both the great varieties and the regions, and uh, take your time to explore some of the other options available.